Jacques-Charles Dupont de Rella was a French lawyer and statesman. He is best known as the first head of state of the Second Republic, after the collapse of the July monarchy. Biography Early career born in Le Neuburg, Normandy, he was a lawyer at the Parliament of Normandy when the French Revolution began. During the First Republic and the First Empire, he filled successive judicial offices at Louvier, Rouen and Evreux. He had adopted revolutionary principles, and in 1798 began his political life as a member of the French Directory's Council of 500. In 1813 he became a member of the Corps Legislatif and, during the Hundred Days, was Vice President of the Chamber of Deputies. When the Seventh Coalition Armies entered Paris, he drew up the declaration asserting the necessity of maintaining the principles of government that had been established at the Revolution. He was chosen as one of the commissioners to negotiate with the coalition sovereigns. Prominence from 1817 until 1849 he was, without interruption, a member of the Chamber of Deputies and he acted consistently with the liberal opposition, of which he was the virtual leader. For a few months in 1830 he held office as Minister of Justice, but, finding himself out of harmony with his colleagues, resigned before the end of the year and resumed his place in the opposition. Second Republic When the 1848 revolution began, Dupont de Rella was made President of the Provisional Assembly, being its oldest member. On the same day, he was made president of the provisional government, becoming France's de facto head of state. He can therefore be considered as France's first presidential head of state, though Louis Napoleon Bonaparte, later in the same year, was the first to formally bear the title of president of the French Republic. His prestige and popularity prevented the heterogeneous Republican coalition from having to immediately agree upon a common leader. Due to his great age, Dupont de Rella effectively delegated part of his duties to Minister of Foreign Affairs Alphonse de Lamartine. On 4 May, he resigned in order to make way for the Executive Commission, which he declined to join. He supported Louis Eugene Cavaignac against Louis Napoleon Bonaparte. In 1849, having failed to secure his re election to the chamber, he retired from public life. His consistency in defending the cause of constitutional liberalism throughout the many changes of his times gained him the respect of many of his countrymen, who referred to Dupont de Rella as Aristides of the French Tribune.